In this video, we're going to talk about adding and subtracting angle values that are in degrees, minutes, and seconds. So right now we have 54 degrees, 24 minutes, and 52.3 seconds, plus 60 degrees, 40 minutes, and 10 seconds. So we're going to work through this one column at a time. We're going to start over on the seconds column, and we're going to add 52.3 plus 10. This is going to give us 62.3 seconds. And we should notice immediately that we have more than 60 seconds. In the past video, we figured out that 60 minutes equals one degree and 60 seconds equals one minute. So we can't leave this as 62 degrees. We can't leave it as more than 60, um, but at the end we will deal with it. Now we're gonna slide over to the second column, the minutes column, and we'll add 24 plus 40. So that's gonna give us 64 minutes. This is again greater than 60, so we'll need to adjust that at the end. Finally, we'll move to the degrees column and add 54 plus 60 to get 114 degrees. Okay, in this step, we need to get rid of the excess um, seconds and minutes. So we're going to subtract 60 seconds here. But when we do that, we need to add one minute so that everything is still equal to the same angle value. We can rewrite this angle as 114 degrees, 65 minutes, and 2.3 seconds. Now we can do the same thing to the minutes column. Subtract 60 minutes, then we need to add one degree. Rewriting our, our angle, we now have 115 degrees, 5 minutes, and 2.3 seconds. Let's work through another one of these addition problems quickly. So again, we're going to start with the seconds column, and we're going to add it up. This time we get 72 seconds. Then we can slide over to the minutes column. And here we'll get 57 minutes. And then finally, looking at the degrees column, we'll get 76 degrees. So this time, we only have one excess um, column, and it's the seconds column. So we'll need to subtract 60 from this. Subtract 60 seconds. And then when we do that, we can add one minute. Rewriting this we get 76 degrees, 58 minutes, and 12 seconds. For subtraction, the process is similar but slightly different. In this case, we want to do our adjustments before we actually start doing the subtraction. Um, and you'll see what I mean here. So if we look at the seconds column, we're trying to subtract 50 from 42. So we don't have enough on top, so what we need to do is borrow a minute and add 60 seconds. This lets us rewrite the expression as 77 degrees, 11 minutes, and 102 seconds, minus 30 degrees, 25 seconds, or 25 minutes and 50 seconds. So we don't touch the bottom just yet. Um, and then before we do subtraction, let's slide over to the minutes count column and see if we have enough on top. In this case, we don't. We're trying to subtract 25 from 11. So again, we need to borrow from the next column over, which is, in this case, the degrees column. So we're going to subtract one degree and then add 60 minutes. And we can rewrite our expression one more time. It now becomes 76 degrees, 70, oops, 70, one minutes, 102 seconds, minus 30 degrees, 25 minutes, 50 seconds. Okay, and now that we have more on top in every column, we can start doing the subtraction. So 102 minus 50, that gives us 52 seconds. 71 minus 25, quick maths, that's 46 minutes. And then 76 minus 30 gives us, again, 46 degrees. So our final answer is 46 degrees, 
46 minutes, 52 seconds. Let's look at one more subtraction problem here. In this case, this one looks a little bit easier because we have a higher number in the seconds column, so we don't have to do any borrowing for that one. But we are trying to subtract 55 from 12 in the minutes column. So what we need to do is borrow a degree. So we're going to subtract a degree. And then to keep everything even, we're going to add 60 minutes. This lets us rewrite the expression as 18 degrees. Oops, not 18, we subtracted one. So 17 degrees and 72 minutes, 27 seconds, minus 4 degrees, 55 minutes, and 11 seconds. Now that all the numbers on top are larger than all the numbers on bottom, we can start subtracting. So this is going to give us 16 seconds. It's going to give us 17 minutes and 13 degrees. This is our final answer.